Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and man, do I ever have something crazy today. I've got a giant box, and when I say giant, when I say crazy, it's because this box is loaded with dinosaurs. This box was very kindly sent to me by Jurassic KM. I have, you know, taken some boxes that he had sent me before and filmed some unboxings here on the channel. This is easily the biggest box he sent me so far, and it is loaded with all sorts of older dinosaur toys and figures as well as custom stuff that he has gone ahead and painted up himself. So I am beyond excited to dive into this. I have to give a massive shout out and a thank you to him as always, not only for sending a box of all of this stuff over, but just in general for all of the hours of work that he put into this box again with custom paint jobs and stuff on so many figures in here. I'm really hyped to get a look at all of this stuff, but there's so much. I really can't waste much time, which I already have. Uh, again, we got to just jump straight into this box and start bringing things in. So he's put like a lot of these figures that looks like in little bags and stuff. Some of them have fallen out, so there are a few figures here and there that aren't in any sort of a bag. And he did say that he was going to send over a whole bunch of, you know, little older dinosaur toys and stuff that he had. He asked me if I would be interested in them. And of course I am, because one of my favorite things in the world... Uh, you know, his older dinosaur toys. And this one's really cool. I have never seen this figure in my life. It's some like ankylosaur type species, but it's got like a spike on its nose. Really, really interesting. Again, you can get a closer look at that guy. He's pretty cool looking. I don't know if maybe I have the lights too bright. Maybe if I dim them just a little bit, maybe it'll offer a better look at him. Eh, kind of. But he's definitely a really cool figure. I've never seen that one. Again, I'm going to try to rush, not really rush, but get through these quick because there is a lot in here. And I mean, you look right here is just one of the little bags that are included in here that I have to get through. And there's definitely a lot of stuff. So we've got a Dimetrodon here, which is a pretty cool one. I have seen this figure before. I probably have him, but I don't think that I have him in a purple. I don't know that I've ever seen the purple one. I definitely have seen this guy a lot. This is like an old school raptor figure, or at least I assume he's got huge sickle claws, but he doesn't really look like much of a raptor to me. An interesting figure to say the least. And we've got some other old school sort of dinos. We've got a Dilophosaurus. I don't know if I've ever seen this specific Dilophosaurus. Like I've seen similar ones, but I don't know if I've ever seen this small version before. We've also got a really cool old school Ceratosaurus, which of course I love. Any sort of vintage tail dragging dinosaur I'm all about, but specifically a Ceratosaurus is super, super cool. We've also got a really cool little Ankylosaurus. Definitely a fun figure. Reminds me a lot of that really big version of the Ankylosaurus that's out you know, one that was out when I was a kid in like the 80s and stuff. We also have, and I think we've got two of these guys over here, like this super chubby kind of like, I guess it's a monoclonius, a centrosaurus type figure kind of looks like it. He's pretty neat. I think I've seen that one before, but I'm not positive. I've definitely seen this little brachiosaurus before. This one, I'm not sure at all on actually. It looks like, you know, your classic standard dinosaur toy, but he looks also kind of not really that familiar to me. So that one's pretty fun. I don't really know much about him. We also have an old school sauropod in here, and I love old school sauropods. I love old school dinosaurs as a whole, but specifically sauropods are always great. Same deal with this guy which uh, again is a super cool figure. Looks like it's a Mark's bootleg of some kind, which I don't know that I've ever seen that particular bootlegged version. This one as well as another figure I don't recognize. I don't really know anything on this one, but he's pretty cool. Sometimes they give them these, these like weird colors where it's hard to actually see the detailing on the figures. This is definitely one of those, but he's a pretty neat one. We've also got this Triceratops, which I've always loved this figure, even though... He looks a little... Oh, that's weird. So he's like two-toned. He's got a dark coloration on one side and a lighter tone on the other side. But he always reminded me of the uh, Lost World. And I'm speaking the original Lost World version of the Triceratops. We've also got some more fun little figures. Again, we've got ourselves a Trachodon. We also have this guy here, which I don't really know what species that guy is meant to be. 
We've also got ourselves a Dilophosaurus. This one's a bit bigger than the other one. He's pretty cool looking as well. And then the final two are the two friendliest dinosaurs I may have ever seen. One of which looks to be like a Pachycephalosaurus. The other one I'm not entirely sure on. I have seen some of these guys before. I've never seen this particular figure before. I don't know for sure that I've seen this one before either, but I've seen this style of figure before so those are all really cool and that is just one of the little bags in here let's just push everybody over to the side we've also got ourselves a nice little sauropod a larger version looks like it's probably a brachiosaurus he also looks like he's bleeding from the eye almost with the way that it's painted another old school sauropod and i love these figures i definitely have this one but actually that's weird it's colored the exact same way as that brachiosaurus like exactly the same so clearly whoever distributed that brachiosaurus did the same with this sauropod this uh i guess it's probably a brontosaurus but i just love this figure it is a really cool uh version of like that old school sauropod even with the legs out away from the body very lizard like and stuff man that one's awesome and there's also a little dinosaur car in here and he looks absolutely insane like maybe the goofiest looking little i guess he's a t-rex yeah goofiest looking little t-rex car i've ever seen in my life and then we've got ourselves a stegosaurus i've seen this figure before i think think i have it but i'm not 100 percent sure it's definitely a very unique looking one as it has a longer neck and a really long tail on it i don't know who actually makes this one i feel like maybe it's one of those figures i had seen in like the terabibitat dinosaur bucket but i'm not positive we've also got this guy in here so let me go ahead and actually readjust the camera for just a minute pick it right up to show you We've got a really cool plush Tyrannosaurus Rex, and I absolutely do not have this one. This one is actually really neat. I love the way that his body is detailed. Like, he actually looks kind of realistic, has almost like that genuine sort of realistic look to his skin, but still nice and soft and cuddly. So that, oh, even the feet look really neat. So that one's really cool. Definitely and definitively a figure I did not have previously. He's also included this in here, which is a really cool little Jurassic World bag. We've got Rexy. We have some of the Velociraptors from the Velociraptor Squad. Nothing going on on the back of it. But inside, oh wow, we've got a whole bunch of stuff in here. So we've got the Velociraptor Blue Token for the supersized captives. We also have a Camp Cretaceous set. I think maybe these came with the... Uh, Happy Meals, yes, I definitely think these came with the Happy Meals for Camp Cretaceous. And of course, it's always fun seeing the Carnotaurus on there. We also have a uh, checklist here for some of the Mattel minis, which is pretty fun. This was the wave with the uh, Postasuchus, which you can see right there. Then, oh wow, these are pretty neat. We have some Jurassic World tattoos, and I definitely don't have these. I actually don't think I've ever seen a lot of these images. Like, I've seen some of them, like the T-Rex, but I've never seen it with, like, this kind of a backdrop and stuff. The Pteranodon one specifically is really neat. And I love the Indominus taking on a Stegosaurus up there. But that is definitely a very cool uh, sticker set. Or, I mean, I'm sorry, tattoo set. And then we've got a ton of stickers here sporting some of those same images we just saw in the tattoos. You can see there is a ton of different ones here. We've got the Indominus taking on a, an Ankylosaurus, being terrorized or potentially terrorizing some Pteranodon, and again, the image of the Stegosaurus. So love anything Jurassic World, of course. We've got another checklist for some more Mattel minis right there. And it's funny because I actually have lost those, like long lost those. And we also have the packaging for, I think, the original Jurassic World minis, as well as the uh, potentially the second set, I think. I don't know. It's been so long, I have a hard time remembering exactly. But those are just some really fun little extras included in here. And then we've got, and he has these all wrapped. He actually has them numbered and everything. But this looks like one of his repaints. I'm clearly not bringing them in. Uh, in order as far as the way that he's packaged them. Let me take this out here and open it up. So the very first one is an absolutely beautiful Stiggy Moloch repaint. And uh, wow, he really did a great job on this. I love the way that he's applied like a wash 
to the figure, definitely highlighting all of the detail very nicely. He's even kind of gloss coated the dome of the Stiggy Moloch, painted out all of the little tiny bumps and osteoderms on it. Definitely did a really good job on this. That is actually, honestly, probably one of the nicest repaints that I've seen of his. And he definitely does some really good work all the time. But, like, I'm specifically very impressed with that Stiggy Moloch. That one is awesome. Really a big fan of that guy. So let me put him over there and bring in some more. It's a mixture, like I said, of repaints and other stuff. This time we have, I think this is one of the Wild Republic figures. They're T-Rex, I believe. I used to have these guys, and I don't know what ever happened to them. So it's actually pretty cool that this one's in here because I don't have it anymore. I don't know what I ever did with the figures, but... They are gone, or they're lost to storage somewhere. I just don't know where exactly. We've got another repaint here, and this one is so tiny. Wow, it's also really nicely done. This is one of the Kinder Egg figures, and he's painted the T-Rex out and uh, given it a much more realistic paint job. What's funny about this, I actually was considering doing this at one point in time because I felt like the... Kinder Egg figures actually had some decent sculpts on them. However, the, you know, fine detail was a little lacking on the figures. So it's pretty impressive to see that he's painted this up so nicely, even with the uh, lack of fine detail on the figures. Like, that looks really good. So again, another really nice repaint. And we've got another very small figure here. Let's open this one up. So we've got ourselves a repainted Pteranodon. With the Geosternbergia colors, of course. The Lost World Pteranodon type colors. I think this might have been one of the Hasbro minis. Because I don't... I think the Jurassic World kind of stamp on there means it was one of the Hasbro ones. I also don't really recognize the figure all that well. So I'm definitely thinking it was one of the Hasbro ones. But he absolutely nailed the tones of color for that sort of paint scheme perfectly. Definitely... Uh, Really nailed the tones of color on that one. We've also got this adorable little dinosaur. Cute little T-Rex. Looking very, very adorable. But also very similar to those other figures we had seen earlier. We've got ourselves another one of these uh, knockoff Trachodon figures. And we've got something that's actually really quite cool. We have a Geo World figure. And I've been very slowly trying to collect a good bit of the geo world figures there's just so many out there that i cannot get all of them i think it would take me an impossible amount of time to get all of them now because i'm so late into collecting the geo world line but this is one that i don't think i had so at least that's a step in the right direction and again another bag full of little dinosaurs We've got ourselves another of these Triceratops. Again, that Lost World style Triceratops. We also have this, which has a little bit of fuzz on it. But this is a really neat Triceratops. I don't know who makes that one. I don't think I've ever seen that figure before. Not a half bad sculpt at all. I actually really, really like that one. I have to look into that one a little more. We've got another one of these ultra-friendly looking dinosaurs. This one looks like maybe it's a Ceratosaurus of some kind. These guys are like the sweetest, cutest little dinosaurs potentially ever. Then we have this one, which is another Tyrannosaur, but I don't know anything about this one. I don't think I've ever seen that figure before, so I have no idea who makes that one at all. We also have ourselves a very old school style Pachycephalosaurus standing almost completely upright, as well as another of those vintage sauropods that I love. I don't remember where I put the other one. Oh, actually, that one? Yeah, there we go. I was about to say he's a little bit bigger, but no, I think he's the same size. We also have a super cool old translucent Styracosaurus. Maybe a glow-in-the-dark version. Kind of looks like it, but I don't know for sure. As well as a very interesting old Stegosaurus. Man, this thing is crazy cool looking. Like, I've never seen the vintage interpretation of a Stegosaurus. He's got a hair on him, but of a Stegosaurus look quite this interesting. Definitely have not seen that one before. And then we've got ourselves a few more Ceratopsians. Stuff that I believe I've seen in the past. As well as an awesome old school Parasaurolophus sporting that kind of skin on the back of the crest which i really love and then another one of these uh marks bootleg figures right there oh we've got ourselves some more repaints i think we're really getting into the repaints now because 
I think the majority of the bags of smaller dinosaurs seem to be up at the top, but I could be wrong as I haven't really, you know, made it too far into this box. Wow, this one's real nice. So we've got ourselves a Pachycephalosaurus repaint, and I think, if I remember correctly, that this is potentially one of the Kid Galaxy figures, but... Like, get nice and close. Look at the paintwork on that face. That is beautiful. Again, he's applied that sort of gloss coat to a lot of the areas to give it the shine. He's definitely mastered the use of the dark wash. This is easily the best that this figure has ever looked. It actually has taken, like, a very cheap dinosaur toy and turned it into a really nice, very high-quality-looking version of a pachycephalosaurus now i don't know what one i would say is my favorite from him like that one looks really good that might even be a little better than the stiggy Moloch that we have back there oh my goodness there's just so much stuff in this box i almost feel like i need to do like a two-parter it's just crazy how many figures are in this it's probably going to be the longest unboxing i've ever had so here we've got ourselves another Stegosaurus. I think I've seen this figure before as well. It looks very familiar to me. Almost kind of has like a little bit of like a Safari LTD knockoff charm to him. As well as a really exciting one, we have the Aladar Hand Puppet from Disney's Dinosaur. And what's actually really funny about this, just a few weeks ago I was at a thrift shop near me. And they had the Carnotaurus version. And even though I did already have the Carnotaurus version, I grabbed it anyway. Little did I know, just a few weeks later, I'd be getting the Aladar version. And I don't think I actually have this one. I think I have the Carnotaurus, you know, now twice, maybe even more than that. But I don't think I ever had the Iguanodon. We've got another repaint here. Let's pop this guy open. Another small mini. So we've got ourselves a Mattel mini. Uh, Stegosaurus obviously painted up with the Lost World Jurassic Park type colors. Actually, that's hard to tell. I mean, this could very easily go both ways. This could just be actually more of like the Jurassic World coloration for the Stegosaurus because they're so similar. Either way, again, he's done a really good job on the paintwork of that one. I love how he uses various tones of colors, like he adds depth to his paint jobs. It's not like it's just like one green and then one lighter tone. Like he adds more like washes and stuff like that to really give it a nice high quality look. Okay, this is actually super cool. So we have ourselves a Lego Pteranodon now sporting the Geo Sternbergia. Again, the Lost World Pteranodon type coloration. And that is really neat. I actually don't have very many Lego figures when it comes to the Jurassic World line. Let's see if that jaw, oh, it's the upper jaw that opens. So the jaw, oh, even the inside of the mouth is painted. It also sports that nice gloss coat. Man, that's really cool. That's definitely one to go up, of course, on display, which, you know, the majority of these are going to go up on display. But that one's just so neat. Again, I love unique Things like that, like Lego figures painted up in a more realistic way is super cool. And it looks like actually straight out of the gate, there's another one in here that is a Lego figure painted up. Wow, this one's really neat. So we have ourselves a very cool looking Lego figure again with like a lot of color. Like, man, it's crazy impressive how much coloration he puts into these figures. Like, I'm actually quite blown away by the amount... Oh, even the jaw still works. The amount of coloration that he has included in something like this. Again, that's just like entirely smooth. It's not like Lego figures have texturing. So sometimes you have to kind of like use the texturing to make the paintwork look better. But that already looks awesome without any texturing really to it. Fantastic repaint. The next one. Wow, these are actually really cool. I've never seen these before. So the next thing we have in here are these... Which I may have to just put right back in that bag. These are little rings. And as you can see, we've got Jurassic Dinosaurs. Lost World Jurassic Park Stegosaurus right there. We've also got... If I can remove that one from the other one. We have the Parasaurolophus. Again, definitely Lost World Jurassic Park. I don't know if they all are. They certainly look to be. We've got the Pteranodon, a.k.a. the Geosternbergia as well. And then we have the Velociraptor, which... Is super cool because I love the tiger striped velociraptor. What else do we have here? The Pachycephalosaurus as well. And finally, 
the Triceratops. I have never seen these in my life. I did not know these existed until this exact moment. So that is awesome. Then we've got ourselves another Happy Meal figure. We have the Brachiosaurus, the Jurassic World Brachiosaurus from the Happy Meals, again from McDonald's. Let's put him over there. And we have more as far as the repaints go, of course. And conveniently, after I just mentioned how much I love the Tiger Stripe Velociraptors, we've got ourselves one that was painted again by my good friend Jurassic KM. And look at that. That is absolutely stellar looking. Man, that is a really cool looking version of a tiger striped raptor. We've got the striping and stuff, those beautiful orangish tones moving through the uh, body, of course, of our raptor. That one is really, really nice. Let's put him back there. Actually, let's turn the raptor and put him back there so that we can kind of create room for more. Oh, wow. Okay, wait a minute. We've got something in here that I was definitely not expecting. What is this? We've got a shirt. Oh, wow. So we have ourselves a Jurassic Park shirt. I honestly don't know if I can even get this into screen here. So this is what, the 30th anniversary? Yeah, definitely a shirt from Walmart that came out, I guess, for the 30th anniversary. We never had these here at my Walmart, at least. I don't know if anybody in the United States has seen these, but we definitely haven't had them here in my area at any of the Walmarts. But you've got a big image of the T-Rex, the Jurassic Park logo, and it is a camouflage shirt. Man, that is super, super cool. Definitely a massive fan of that. Now I just need to decide if I want to actually wear it or just display it, but that is awesome. Man, he is... Definitely one of the kindest human beings alive to include so much stuff. And I also knocked over my Velociraptor. I just realized that right now. Oh, no. Stand up. There we go. It is crazy how much stuff is in here. It's like seriously unreal. There's so much I haven't even gotten to yet. So we've got another repaint. We've got ourselves a little baby Velociraptor. And look at how awesome he looks. Man, he does such a great job. And I love that he always includes the, uh, you know, gloss coats on the eyes and the mouth and even the nostrils and stuff. Just those little added bits of realism I'm a huge fan of. So that figure also looks cool. I am going to have so much stuff to put up on my shelves. And then more random dinosaurs. I just, I'm actually afraid to see how long this video is going to be when I'm done. So first of all, we have this. And I have no clue what this is. I have never seen this thing before. So it says it's made in Hong Kong, but that is one of the absolute craziest looking figures I have ever seen. I don't have a clue what this thing is. It looks like some sort of like a weird kaiju, but it is super cool for sure. And then we also have this Tyrannosaur here. I definitely have this guy. But he's actually kind of neat. I wouldn't mind repainting him at some point. So since I've got this one, I may just do that with that figure. And another repaint coming in. It is another Stiggy Moloch. Look at that. We've got the mini version. And honestly, it's just as beautiful as the larger one that he had painted. He really does do a great job on the Stiggy Moloch, or I should just say like Pachycephalosaur species in general, that mini looks honestly crazy impressive for its size and then another mini repaint we've got a triceratops and look at the amount of paintwork that he puts into these minis this thing looks beyond stellar again you know i've painted some minis like a long time ago i haven't painted any in quite some time but his paint jobs on the minis i would say are probably even better than the ones that i had painted a while back not that my paintwork is that great, but I'm just saying his paintwork is extremely impressive. And yes, we've got another bag of figures, of random figures here. Let's bring these guys in. So first off, we've got ourselves a Dilophosaurus skeleton, vintage style with the tail down. Eh, I didn't think he was going to stand. He's got like a lean. Oh, there he goes, actually. He's got like a leaning thing going on. But that guy is definitely pretty cool. And we're really starting to fill up here on the left side. i got to start putting stuff over on the right. But we've got this little guy here, some form of a raptor. We also have another vintage brontosaurus, as well as another one of these triceratops, looking like, again, that old-school Lost World-style triceratops. We have ourselves a pterosaur. 
which I feel like I had this figure before when I was a kid, but I don't think I have it now. I don't remember it, but that is a pretty neat pterosaur. And we also have a little Styracosaurus, as well as this one, which I don't know what that one is. That one's pretty neat looking, actually. That one kind of stopped me dead for a second. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. And then we've also got ourselves a Pteranodon. Very old school style Pteranodon. And then some more. We have ourselves this weird looking one. That one's super weird. It's got like an elongated snout. And then uh, the sickle claws. Almost like a vintage version of an Astroraptor. Which is really weird. And then we've got this guy. Which I guess is like a... Uh, Almost kind of resembles an Iguanodon, almost kind of resembles a Hypsilophodon, I'm not really sure. As well as this super tiny Corythosaurus, which is beyond adorable. I love Corythosaurus. And then we have an old school Safari LTD baby. I think it's the Apatosaurus, but I'm not positive. I don't think I have ever seen this one before. And if I do have it, it's absolutely gone from my memory. So that one's really neat. I do not remember that figure at all. So Jurassic KM repaints everything, I am convinced, because he's also repainted one of the Pez dispensers, and it's not focusing, there we go. He's given me a Rexy version of the Pez dispenser, and look at how awesome that is. Like, it's actually crazy how good his paintwork is, even on a Pez dispenser. That thing is fantastic looking, and he has also repainted the Dilophosaurus Pez dispenser. Like, seriously, that's crazy, crazy cool. You don't even realize how nice the sculpts of these things are until you actually get some paintwork on it, or in this case, until Jurassic KM gets some paintwork on it. But that, again, is awesome. He's even painted the back of the frill as well. Absolutely never thought in a million years I would have some repainted Pez dispensers. Man, he paints so many things that are amazing. Look at this. We've got the Ceratosaurus as well. And I kind of feel like maybe at some point I had painted a Mattel Mini Ceratosaurus. This is definitely nicer than any one that I've ever gone ahead and tried to repaint. This is a beautiful version of the Ceratosaurus right there. That, because I am just such a huge fan of the Jurassic Park 3 Ceratosaurus, that might be my favorite figure in this whole box so far. He has also painted a Takara Tomy T-Rex to give it some really nice Jurassic Park colors. Beautiful browns. I honestly don't know that... Uh, let me go ahead and turn the light on a little bit brighter for a minute for this one at the very least. I don't know how good it's showing up on camera, but look at how nice that paint is. He absolutely brought out every ounce of detail on that Rex perfectly, making, you know, you really realize how highly detailed that Takara Tomy T-Rex is. That thing is awesome. And what's crazy is it's actually, I think that might be the older version of the T-Rex from Takara Tomy, so it's not even the Jurassic World version, not like the one that's based on Jurassic Park or Jurassic World. And uh, it looks, honestly, like it should be because his paint job is so nice. I seriously am just, like, honestly in a state of awe with how much stuff is in this box. We've also got ourselves, which it doesn't want to focus. Again, we've got another bag full of little dinos, but I'm trying to get it to focus on this guy. We've got ourselves another little Corythosaurus right there, a little bit different from the one we had just taken a look at. We also have the uh, knockoff version of a Mark's Allosaurus. I think this was the Allosaurus, if I remember correctly. It's been a little while. We also have a small, this is similar to the first Ankylosaurus type figure we had taken a look at, where it has that kind of bump on the nose. That's intriguing. And then we also have this T-Rex right here. And I remember having these guys when I was younger, but I don't remember them being like a soft rubber. I think the ones that I had were a hard plastic. So that makes this one pretty darn neat. Again, a very old school style T-Rex. My Ceratosaurus fell over. Stand back up. We've also got an Ankylosaurus with the biggest eyes I have ever seen right there. I don't think I've ever seen that figure. A very cool vintage style Styracosaurus. May have seen that one, but I can't really remember. There's actually a ton of figures in this box that I've never seen before. We also have another one of these Trachodon figures, which I always love these guys. If you wanted to look at, you know, old school dinosaurs and get a good feel of what old school dinosaurs look like, I always felt like this figure was one of the best ones for it. And then we've got this one, and uh, 
again, my camera's not focusing, another rubber type figure. And I don't think I have this one either. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. I don't know exactly what species it is. Kind of looks like it would be a Platyosaurus potentially. And then look at this one. This one's awesome. I definitely don't have, nor have I ever seen this figure. It's like an old school style T-Rex, but very highly detailed for its size. Very cool looking as well. And then another one of these super happy, goofy looking dinosaurs. But this time we've got a sauropod version as well as, and he just fell over, another pterosaur. We've got ourselves another pteranodon right here, which my camera doesn't want to focus on again. And then a super cool kind of old school style Parasaurolophus. I'm so sorry if it feels like I'm rushing through these, but there's just so many. Another Corythosaurus right there. I'm just trying to get as many of these guys in here without this video taking two hours long. Another awesome Stegosaurus. Oh, again, he's like two-toned. He's got this light tone on that side. And then we turn him and he's purple. Very cool looking figure. Again, I don't think I've ever seen that one either. And then we've got the happy, goofy version of a Stegosaurus as well. The next thing is a Velociraptor blue repaint of a Mattel figure. And you can definitely see again, he has put a ton of paintwork into this. We've got a little bit of the plastic right there, but a ton of paintwork into this one. That is absolutely epic as well. We'll put that one back there with our Lost World Raptor. Looks like we might be trying to complete the raptor squad. And at this point, we're not going to be too far off from having like all the different types of raptors from the Jurassic franchise. Again, we've got some of the Jurassic World raptors. And this one also is crazy flashy and cool looking. But we've got the Jurassic World raptors. We also have the Lost World Jurassic Park raptor. We've got that smaller version of the JP1 raptor. So we are doing pretty good when it comes to raptors right now. Let's put the lego pteranodon back there and then another repaint we've got a small triceratops i think this might have been one of the jurassic world yes definitely has the jurassic world stamp so this is one of the hasbro triceratops also repainted with some gorgeous brown tones on that one it's crazy how nice the hasbro figures actually look when you give them a good set of paint and speaking of a Triceratops that's small and repainted, we also have the Mattel version. What's cool is they both have the same color scheme, again, kind of giving it that Jurassic Park type color. And uh, now you can basically see what looks better, whether it be the Mattel or the Hasbro version. I think it's safe to say the Mattel version looks better, but we definitely have a really neat set of Triceratops now looking like they're from the same group. And again, put that one back there. The paintwork on this version, again, from Jurassic KM is about as stellar as it gets considering its size. His repaints for the minis are crazy impressive, which, honestly, everything he repaints is. And then we've got ourselves a male Rex as well, and look at how nice that looks. That almost looks like the uh, Jurassic Park 3 version, kind of, if you ask me. Uh, with the coloration definitely is more of like the jp3 like kind of brighter colors compared to the lost world version but it's again absolutely fantastic either way and again he's killing it with these repaints i just can't believe that he would go through the trouble of painting out all of these figures only to then send them to me. It shows you what kind of an incredible human being he is. And as it appears, we are on the right path because we have again another Jurassic World Raptor Squad entry as we have Echo, which is my favorite member of the Jurassic World Lost Raptor Squad. And he's definitely captured the colors on this one, something that Mattel can't say they've ever done. And he's even given it that little scar on the face right there. So another epic repaint that now is three of the four for the Raptor Squad. And he actually, the last time he sent me a box, sent me the entire Raptor Squad then as well, but with the 12-inch basic versions repainted. Okay, this is probably one of the coolest things I've ever seen. We have a massive Lego T-Rex painted up as the male uh, you know lost world or jurassic park whatever you want to call it the male t-rex as well and look at how incredible this looks with that coloration on it he even has the injuries here on the face and everything like that is seriously so cool like i said i love unique things and honestly it doesn't get much more unique 
than something like that. And the jaw articulates and everything. You can see the inside of the mouth is painted as well. It also sports that gloss coat. Man, that is cool. This, I, I just keep going back and forth. I don't know what's my favorite part of this, but this very well could be my favorite part of this box. Our Pteranodon, the Lego Pteranodon, is completely buried back there now. And now we definitely have the Jurassic Park Velociraptor because he's gone ahead and repainted one of the supersized captives Velociraptors into the Jurassic Park Velociraptor and even given it a base like he's clearly created his own base for it. Boy, does that ever look good. His paintwork on this as far as like the Jurassic Park Velociraptor seriously looks like spot on, honestly. The tones of color on this are perfect when it comes to the way a Jurassic Park Velociraptor looks. You know, I had long considered painting one of those up myself, but now I clearly don't need to do that because I've already got his. Whoa. So this is crazy cool. Look at this. I definitely need to bring the camera back and extend it up a little bit. That is one of the absolute most incredible looking repaints that I think I've ever seen. Again, he's given it its very own base, but obviously this is one of the Hasbro Jurassic World Velociraptors, you know, when they had, you know, missed the uh, sickle claws on them, but he's repainted this. And clearly this raptor, or this figure, however you want to term it, has never looked better. That paintwork is phenomenal, and such a cool-looking color scheme for it. Man, there's so many things in here. I feel like the further into the box we get, the more impressive it gets. Like, he just keeps one-upping himself. And I feel like I'm, I should be, you know, moving a little bit quicker, but at this point... It's hard not to give each and every one of these figures its own spotlight to really shine on how incredible these are. And there we go. We've got another Velociraptor for our Raptor Squad. And equally as awesome looking, I think, as all of the others. Don't know if I can get him in there, but there we go. So now we've got ourselves a Raptor Squad back there. This is seriously crazy. Like, I've never received a box this massive with so much work and effort that went into it. We've also got another of the Kinder Egg figures repainted. We have a Dimorphodon. And again, when I was originally looking at these, I'm like, man, they look super cool. But I just don't know if I actually put some decent paintwork on them, how good they'll turn out. Well, clearly, they turn out really, really nice because his Dimorphodon, just like the T-Rex, looks fantastic. This thing looks beyond beautiful. Considering its size and its lack of fine detail, that's very impressive. We've also got ourselves another little stuffed animal dinosaur. As you can see, we've got ourselves like some a very adorable little sauropod-looking guy here. I don't know. Oh, it's a Wild Republic figure. Okay, I'm very familiar with them. I definitely have never seen him before, though. We're going to sit him over on the shirt, which is like laying on top of a bunch of dinosaurs. And then we have something huge that I'm pulling out here, which I can kind of see through the bubble wrap. Looks to be an absolutely massive Spinosaurus that kind of looks like it would be like a Papo sort of bootleg or something. I've never seen this particular version of the Spino before, but clearly it has a very cool Jurassic Park 3 inspired type of a paint scheme on it. Look at that thing is like, seriously, a standout for sure. Again, incredibly flashy and absolutely one of the most impressive parts of this box. Like look at that coloration up in the sail. That is so, like, those blues just look so good on this figure. Man, I am, like, at this point, there's no way I could even attempt to tell you which one is my favorite. There's just so many good ones. Oh, boy, he's really tugging on my heartstrings now because we've got ourselves a Carnotaurus, a mini Carnotaurus, and, again, repainted by him, looking unbelievably epic. I don't know how good my camera is actually showing it off to you. Let me reposition the camera. I had it back a little bit because of this giant Spinosaurus. But if we bring it down here, maybe we'll be able to kind of uh, shine a better light on this guy. There you go. You can really see how nice that Carnotaurus looks. Man, his paintwork is so awesome. Like, I just love how 
perfect looking his uh, patterning is on his figures continuously. It's like the one thing I struggle with is really making my patterns look good, and he clearly has no problem doing that at all. And we've also got ourselves a Lost World Jurassic Park style Parasaurolophus, again repainted. Man, that looks beautiful. Like that really shows you how nice the mini is from Mattel. I feel like I've never truly given that mini figure its uh, fair credit for how good it is, but clearly he brought that out to show to me just how good the mini is. These mini repaints, like he needs his own YouTube channel to paint these minis up on there. Wow, okay, this just keeps getting better and better. Now we have a Mattel Mini Indominus that he has repainted. And yet again, like I did not realize how nice the actual figure was here with this version of the Mini Indominus until this exact moment when I'm seeing his repainted version. This thing is super, super impressive. I'm going to have to take pictures of all of these repaints and post them to my Instagram for everybody to look at because I feel like again I'm not going to be able to give every figure its fair spotlight for this video because there's so much man there's also a super cool like little placemat in here that uh, sports the T-Rex and Velociraptor Blue over here with of course the Jurassic World logo I'm gonna go ahead and try to slide that back there behind everyone stand it up let's see if it stays up there we go you can kind of see it back there give you a pretty good idea of what that looks like that also is awesome i've never seen that before either now he's from canada so i don't know if he finds things that you know are up there that we don't get here but i've never seen that before he has also painted up one of the supersized captives eggs let me readjust the camera again and look at how nice of a job he's done of actually painting out that Jurassic logo. Tell me that doesn't look awesome. And you can see when we turn it around, we again have the eyeball over here, which blinks, which is really cool. And he's also painted out all of the different cracks. And as well, of course, just given the egg itself, its paint job. That is insanely cool. He honestly comes up with the, you know, most interesting things to repaint that I personally would never consider. And then they turn out super awesome. And then again, another Lego figure. This time we've got ourselves a Triceratops that is painted up. I need to find a shelf specifically for these Lego repaints because I feel like they just deserve their own viewing area. That thing is also cool. Let me go ahead and put it back here. I'm kind of running out of room quickly. We've also got another sort of a uh, stuffed animal type dinosaur. Let me move this back again. You can see we've got like another T-Rex here. And this one just has like an old school feel to me. I don't know if it is in fact an older figure, but it's absolutely another one that I do not have. Well, I mean, I didn't until now. And then, yep, another repaint. We've got ourselves another figure that doesn't want to focus, but we have another Dimorphodon repaint. This time we have like a really cool flying version of the Dimorphodon. This is another one of the Hasbro figures. It states Jurassic World right there on the wing. I don't know if I have all of these minis from back then, but I'm clearly getting them as time goes on repainted by my good buddy here, Jurassic KM. And again, it's about as flashy and beautiful looking as it gets. It's just that my camera doesn't want to focus on that one. Let's go. Oh, he fell on his face. Let's go ahead and find him a nice home. I keep knocking things over here because there's so many figures in this area. And then we have another epic repaint. Look at this. We've got another... Man, does it ever not want to focus. We've got ourselves another Jurassic Park or Jurassic World Rexy repaint, however you want to term it. Let's actually just... Stand it down here. We'll readjust the camera. It really doesn't want to focus on this one for some reason. And then we'll turn the figure. There we go. Now we are focusing on it. You can see another one where he's gone ahead and created a base for it, given its very own base, given it also a really nice paint application. This figure, I honestly don't know where this one comes from. I'm not really too familiar with this figure. I almost feel like it looks sort of like the one that was in like the Jurassic World, the live show gift set. I do have, but I'm not 100% sure if that's what that one is, but it's very cool. We are almost at the end of the box and look at this one, another gigantic stuffed animal T-Rex. Like this one is so big, I honestly don't know if I could even get it in screen 
He's got huge feet, nice little tail back there. He's going to have to sit off to the side. He's just so big. There's just way too many things now in here for him to fit. But yet again, definitely something I did not have previously. And yet again, we have another repaint. This time we've got ourselves an Ankylosaurus sporting the Jurassic Park 3 colors. And it looks beautiful, just like I expected it to. Definitely another awesome repaint. His minis, like I said, are probably some of the most impressive when it comes to his repaints that I've ever seen. Like, I've seen quite a few people take a stab at repainting minis, but it's very few and far between you ever see them turn out as nice as his do. Wow, so he was really saving some sweet stuff for the bottom of this box because... Let me go ahead and just readjust the camera straight off the bat. I know I'm going to need to for this one. But we've got ourselves one of the Kenner Velociraptors now repainted up to look like the JP-1 Velociraptor. And of course, this is a figure that came out for Jurassic Park. So to have one actually painted up like the Jurassic Park Raptor is awesome. I've considered doing this myself again for so long. I always thought, well, I've got a few extras. Maybe I should repaint one at some point, but I've never really been able to pull myself to do it. But now I've got one from him, so I no longer need to. That, I keep saying it, but this might be one of my favorite parts of the box as well. I just cannot choose a favorite from this box. And we are down to the final two members of this box. I never in a million years expected this box to be as large as it was. And man, again, another awesome repaint. We've got ourselves the Metric Canthosaurus, sporting the coloration that everybody loves for the Metric Canthosaurus. Look at that. That is awesome. I've been considering repainting one of the... Uh, Hammond collection versions and giving it this color but I haven't done it quite yet but it looks so nice on this figure again another stellar repaint in this box I don't know even where to put this one right now but let me tell you these are all so nice and the final part of this box and I believe I had a sneak peek of this at one point from him now this one I want to be very careful with but he has gone ahead and created, if I could push this back nice and carefully, the scene from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom where the Tyrannosaurus steps on the neck of the Carnotaurus and lets out a roar, but he's done it using Papo-type dinosaur figures, which you can see. We've got the T-Rex repainted. We have the Carnotaurus repainted here. I have to try to bring this around so you can see how awesome this is. Obviously, again, we've got the figures right here looking crazy, crazy cool. I'm going to just have to... It's just blending together because there's so much stuff here. So I'll take these extra images here to show you guys how awesome this looks, of course, after the... Uh, Review station here has been cleared out a little bit, but look at how awesome this looks. Talk about uh, coming up with something very cool, very original, using other figures that we all know and love, and again, giving us a very cool diorama. So I honestly am flabbergasted by this. Like, I don't know that I've ever received anything as incredible when it comes to the sheer amount of work that had gone into this box and the sheer amount of stuff that was put into this box. Like, to say I'm speechless would be an understatement. This is insane. There's so much stuff here. Not just, I'm not even just talking about the repaints, like all these really cool extras. There was so many that he included in here. But again, these repaints must have taken so stinking long, like forever to get done. And he just so kindly goes and sends them my way. You want to talk about one of the most incredible and kindest human beings on the planet, Jurassic KM, I seriously cannot thank you enough for this unbelievable box of figures. Again, a mixture of originals and customs and stuff that he has done. It's definitely a lot of really cool stuff that I am going to have to make room for here on these shelves and start looking around here to try to figure out where exactly I'm going to place everything. But again, thank you so much to him in the comments section. Let me know what you guys think of all of these. And of course, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.